Hey there, awesome young learners. Welcome to Reading Redness Centers, where we are about to dive deep into a super cool topic, energy flow in ecosystems. Get ready to go on an exciting journey with us to discover how energy moves in nature. Imagine, just like how we need food to stay strong, all the living things in nature need something special too. Energy and today, we are going to uncover how they get it. An ecosystem as a giant puzzle where every piece has a special job. Plants make their own food using sunlight, and animals munch on plants or each other to get energy. This energy travels like a game of tag in a food chain, making sure everyone has the power to grow and move. Meet plants like this tall tree. They are like nature's superheroes because they can turn sunlight, water, and air into food. They do this amazing thing called photosynthesis, which helps them grow big and strong. But hold on, there's more to the story. Let's meet some colorful friends, butterflies, and flowers. Flowers have a sweet treat called nectar that butterflies and bees love to sip. And guess what? When these fluttery insects visit flowers, they take tiny bits of pollen along. This pollen helps flowers make seeds, which can grow into new plants. Speaking of bees, they are like nature's helpers. They go from flower to flower, collecting pollen. And while they are at it, they are also making sure plants can make more plants. Teamwork, right? Time to meet some animals now, like this wise owl and the sneaky squirrel. The squirrel loves munching on seeds that plants make. Those seeds are like tiny energy packages from the sun, thanks to the magic of photosynthesis. Now, the owl might seem like a nighttime detective, hunting for its dinner. But remember, it's all part of the big energy story. Let's talk about the food chain. It's like a nature menu. Plants make food, animals eat plants or other animals, and that's how energy travels through the ecosystem. But wait, what about the energy that's not used up? That's where the cleanup crew, or decomposers, come in. These tiny decomposers, like little recycling champions, break down old stuff from plants and animals. This releases energy back into the soil, giving plants another chance to use it. So, you see, everything in an ecosystem is connected. Did you know that the energy in an ecosystem is a bit like a never-ending adventure? From the shining sun high in the sky to the tiniest insect crawling on the ground, everything is connected in a giant circle of life. When a hungry animal enjoys a tasty plant snack, it's like passing a special gift of energy. That energy helps them grow stronger and do all the things they love, whether it's fluttering through the air, creeping through leaves, or simply exploring the world around them. So, the next time you look outside, remember that nature's energy flow is like a magical story connecting us all. And that brings us to the end of our incredible journey into energy flow in ecosystems. If you had a blast learning about this, remember to give us a thumbs up, share the fun with your pals, and don't forget to subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for more awesome learning adventures. Stay curious, keep exploring, and keep being amazing little scientists. Until next time.